Hi YouTube, um, today I'm going to be testing the Kirby shampooer. Um, I've had the Kirby out recently so I thought, you know, I'd use it. So I tested the shampooer today because I've never used the shampooer or any Kirby shampoo before so I thought I'd have a go. Um, now I've heard people say, oh the classic series Kirby's, the shampooer doesn't lay out the foam evenly. And it's crap. Well, actually, it does lay out the foam evenly. The reason why it wouldn't is if there's a little squeegee here, you see that? And if that's bent or rippled, then the foam doesn't lay out evenly. So mine's perfectly straight. So, yeah, um, I've already had a go of this. That's how I know it lays the foam out evenly, obviously. Um, I did have it at line two, but it's at line one now, so I just thought I'd make a quick video while I've still got some shampoo in it. Um, I, I'm not actually using the proper Kirby shampoo, it's this, it's 1001 shampoo for carpets and upholstery, it's just like a dry foam that you're meant to make up in a bucket, as you can see there, then rub it in and then vacuum it up, but it works fine in the, sham in the Kirby shampooer, so the way I believe how you're meant to do this is you're meant to pre-vacuum, which I already have. Then you use your shampooer, and then you, when it's dried, you vacuum up the residue, and then you go over it with the floor polisher slash carpet fluffer, which is meant to bring up the nap. So I'll, I guess I'll try that as well. But anyway, that's just what I've heard. So without any more talking. Um, I'll get on with it. Um, yeah, I'm meant to lower this to its lowest one. There we go. Um, and bring it into the place where we want to begin. And then pull it back slowly when it's on. So what you're meant to do is you're meant to lay the... <laughs> a message on Skype there, sorry. Um, lay the foam out, um, just an even blanket of foam, then take this off and put it in the one that's not the stop one, if you get what I mean, which it was on. So it needs to go in that one first and then move it to that one. If you have the G series, then there's a little dial on top and get this in. There we go. Okay, so here goes. Okay, and you're supposed to leave that for 10 minutes, I think, but I'm not going to do that. If you listen closely, you can probably hear all the bubbles popping. <laughs> anyway, put that on the stop cap thing. And then we go over this entire area again, just to pick up any excess suds or moisture and also to work the foam in really well.
Okay, so as you can see, it did a really good job at laying the foam out evenly. Um, so yeah, it doesn't leave the carpet too wet. It's a little bit soapy now because I've been over it about three times. <laughs> but that'll be alright when it dries. It should just vacuum up. Hopefully. But anyway, you can see in here it's picked up the excess water. And it's actually dirty, the water, so I think it does actually work. Probably work even better if I had the um, proper um, Kirby shampoo. So, let's release that. How to do with one hand. There we go, so it doesn't actually get any, there's a little bit of soap there. But nothing actually touches the motor, fortunately. Oh, that was hot. Now, I did vacuum before, it still picked up all these hairs on the um, tray. But, you know, oh well. So, I shall clean that in a moment. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Just a quick video showing the Kirby shampoo in action. Um, so what do I think of it? Um, it's quite good, quite fun to use. Um, I think it does a good job, but I, I prefer carpet extraction. But anyway, um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.